Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by, done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14 Hasu League Round of 16 Group A. Second game between Mitak and Rancor. Upper left-hand corner, we have Mitak starting as the pink Zerg. Upper right-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the hot pink Zerg. I'm just going to leave it pink and pink because, I don't know, looks fancy. Um, but I also need to make an announcement. There was a withdrawal out of this group, Group A. We had Juicy drop out. So it is going to be between these two and Love Snow, or Loves Now, if you prefer, but it's Love Snow, I believe. Also, guy who hangs out around, around various Twitch channels and is a pretty awesome guy. Looks like both Overlords, this time on this four-player map, this is going to be on Good Night, are going to be scouting to the bottom right-hand corner and the left-hand corner, respectively. Which means both players, for some time, are going to be playing in the dark. Unless one opts for a drone scout or not. And keep in mind, in ZVZ, dedicating the drone scout and when can be a big factor in your build order. Because it is such a drone light matchup. Looks like we have an overlord building for both players. So at the very least, potentially overpool. Looks like we are seeing an overpool for Rancor. Very safe build order for Mitak. Overlord finishes. Is he going to go for a 12th pool? That will give him the theoretical build order advantage. It is possible since it is a four player map. He could try to sneak the 12th hatch. It looks like he's going to opt instead to go for the 12th pool. That is going to give him, yeah, that economic lead. Extractor up for both players. So the. As it plays out, more drones end up in mid tax favor. However, oftentimes you end up with a little bit of an earlier layer. In fact, you can see Rancor hugging it, wanting to get that gas in as quickly as possible. All three drones mining gas immediately. And one thing I've seen Rancor do multiple times is rather than grab his natural expansion, which we see mid tax doing now, he'll oftentimes plant a Sutton colony and force his opponent to come to him off the movement. Let's see if he does, in fact, off to yeah so he's going to go for layer first and sometimes he'll do this and build the minimum amount of zerglings and even sacrifice a drone to go for a sunken colony so that he can play defensively and try yeah try to play the match from there there we go we got that creep colony planted so now it is going to be up to mid tack to be the aggressor this overlord crossing this overlord right about now confirms location layer is morphing otherwise but mid tack is going to have in the long term, the economic lead, he's going to have more larvae to work with. You can see he's got actually down a drone right this second. But the other advantage of doing this, initial two Zergling is going to hold at the ramp. The other advantage of doing this is, is while waiting for larva for the lair and the, well, waiting for the spire, you can just pump drones a little bit more safely. Rancor now up to 13 drones. More Zerglings being built. Natural expansion will come online, but it has not been mining yet. These two Zerglings holding the ramp. A little bit of free damage. And able to walk on in, but going to be greeted by one sunk colony and a second sunk colony being produced. Just in case it was a Ling Flood. So Lair finishing here. Rancor still up a drone, but again, as the game progresses, he's going to be down a natural expansion. Oftentimes... We've seen, I've seen him lose many matches where players, rather than getting aggressive and going for Zergling Floods, opt to just hold the natural expanded, uh, expansion advantage, drop an evolution chamber and play from there. But it looks like Mitek is dropping his Spire. As you can see, that's going to be significantly behind Rancor. Rancor is going to have the in-base advantage. But Mitek now mining at two bases rather than just the one. And since it's, I believe this is a nine mineral patch, it looks like this is a nine mineral patch map. That means there's going to be slightly more efficiency, but oh my goodness, there's an idle drone for Rancor as well. And that could be devastating right here. I'm wondering how he missed this. Yeah, having that one idle drone is critical because that's that cuts into your economy. That's one fifteenth your economy. Or I guess one fourteenth at this stage, which is significant. Saving up resources now. Spire's going to finish. Three Mutalisks produced immediately on the way. Natural expansion being grabbed for Rancor as I believe he's seeing that this is... The Spire's coming up later and also there's not additional Zerglings being produced out. Looks like we do have an Evolution Chamber. Spore Colony is being dropped now for Mitek. Realizing he's going to be behind. 
in the Mutalisk race. But what this is going to allow Mitak to do is, with his Zergling Force with Superior Larva, potentially, sneak back into things. He's also producing Scourge. We'll see Rancor has shown some difficulty dealing with Scourge. Mitak taking the advantages he has. He's a little bit behind in supply, but is grabbing that second gas. Rancor looking for an angle, taking a little bit of free damage on one Mutalisk, which you cannot afford to do in ZVZ. If he sweeps towards the main, there is a bit of an opening along that southern patch, but there's going to be now Scourge out in the air to engage, and one of them lands! Second one looking to engage. Rancor having trouble microing against it. I don't know what the lag was like. Having a great deal of difficulty. The, the rest of the Scourge ran up, confirmed what was in the main. Looks like a second one is going to land on those Mutalisks, so those Mutalisks getting softened up as well. So now Mittack, with a four-drone lead, has capped that natural expansion, is playing more defensively, which he can afford to do. Second gas being grabbed from Rancor. He's now in a drone deficit, which means he needs to do something with these Mutalisks. And he doesn't have a lot of space to do it. Or he needs to sit back and macro up and find space to cut that drone lead. Not sure if... Well, of course, he doesn't get to see the drone count, but pretty sure he'll be aware. It looks like an Overlord was taken out by these Mutalisks midfield. Able to micro against one Scourge right there, so small victories. Also, secondary problems for Rancor is as Mittak's Air Force grows, he does need to protect these Overlords. So this Overlord currently stranded. Mittak actually missing a bit of an opportunity to potentially get some damage done and put this Overlord in the red. Right now it's bait. Looks like a Scourge going to take a hit. Now that's going to... Not sure that was worthwhile. That is going to put Rancor in the red, though. Momentarily. Right now, the drone count even. Never mind. Drone count now in Rancor's favor, but he pays for it with a very critical unit in a Mutalisk. And I'm not sure that's the... Actually, I'll say that's a good trade. Just because Rancor does need to get something accomplished. All of a sudden, he's climbed ahead in the drone count. Natural expansion up and running. He's dropping a creep colony. He's going to have the... And I've seen this time and time again from him where he has the ground advantage but doesn't have the air advantage. So he could mix in some Zerglings to try to equalize what could be a growing air advantage for Midtech. Looks like right this second, the Mutalist count is even between both players, but Mitek is surging ahead in the overall drone count. Also want to check the Spire. We do have Armor 1 now finishing for Rancor, so his Mutalists are going to hit harder. And this is a timing window where, again, the Spire is not even working on Armor 1. That means he's just going to have superior Mutalisks. A couple Scourge behind it. Scourge, by the way, on Mitak's side, going to go ahead and float out, see if they can keep an eye on where the Mutalisk army is at, but they're going to get hunted down. They're going to try to rush the natural expansion, get a good look at the drone count. Actually, no, they're trying to re-angle. Able to suicide at least into another Scourge to get something accomplished. Armor 2 now being upgraded for Rancor. So he currently has the armor upgrade. is down three drones, though. And Mitak's Mutalisk force is growing. Still looking for opportunities. But this is a decent air fleet. I have a feeling in a moment Rancor is going to use those Scourge to box out the Mutalisks and maybe go for some damage, potentially at the main. The Spire is a little bit exposed. And at a certain point, when you have enough Mutalisks, the Evolution Chambers really don't help you anymore. Zergling's getting picked off. An engagement now. The Scourge floating in, landing on Mittak's side. Mittak trying to rewind and pull back, but having difficulty doing so on his side... Down to eight Mutalisks versus the nine. And keep in mind, they are down armor upgrades. But the closer reinforcement point, Rancor pulling back. But now he has evened things. The drone count is dead even. And he's up in armor. However, he still might be feeling he's in the position where he needs to get aggressive. Catching one Mutalisk out of position. His Mutalisk also getting caught. Looking to re-engage. This is going to be a big fight. There is an Overlord there to absorb some... Some hits, potentially, and it looks like Mittek fleeing back to his natural and eating a lot of damage. Rancor actually now in a dominating position. He's up five supply, six supply. All of that is in Mutalisks. As the drone count is dead even, this gives him map control. Potentially, he could grab a third, or he can just continue to grow that Mutalisk count. Halfway to Armor 1, and honestly, Armor 2 is going to finish before Armor 1 is even a factor. Rancor eating a bit of free damage to try to pick off some drones. Successfully doing so. Now engaging Wholesale versus Midtech. But there is the support of those Spore Colonies 
underneath the Scourge eating most of those hits. Scourge or Scourge? Scourge. The Overlord reposit or sorry, the Mutalisk's repositioning. Trying to keep a defensive position because Rancor has been showing to just move in between the natural, looking for opportunities. The Zergling actually playing a pretty good factor. Nice pick off there by Rancor. Wholesale attacking and wiping out a Mutalisk. He is 10 supply up, which is a sizable lead. Able to pick off two drones there. And he's going to go ahead and grab his third behind this. At the 3 o'clock location. I think now he knows he's in a firm lead. Just needs to keep applying pressure to Mittak and make sure Mittak doesn't grow a superior mutilist count. Mittak making a move. Scourge landing. Re-engaging midfield. And reinforcements from Rancor here as well. So Mittak losing the entirety of his air force. And this is as Armor 2 was online. So Mittak and a GG right there. Rancor takes both matches. And will advance to the winner's bracket. Keep in mind the... There was a withdraw, so there's going to be an immediate move to the loser's bracket for Mittak versus Love Snow. Or wait, no. Ignore that. Rancor faces Love Snow. Mittak's going to have another shot regardless, because the loser's bracket is null. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.